About 40 years ago, there was a group of Bachrim that were unfortunately not doing what they should have been in yeshiva. They got involved in phone scams. Now I'm hesitant to ask you if you know what a phone scam is, because either way I don't want the answer. If you tell me you know what it is, I wish you wouldn't. And if you tell me you don't know what it is, I don't believe you. A phone scam. Sometimes, I remember years ago it used to be more popular. A person and a group of people call somebody and they play a prank phone call. But it's not always so funny. A group of Bachram took upon themselves, they were calling different Rabbanim with fake halachic questions. Bogus questions. It was one boy's turn to call Reb Maisha. Reb Maisha Feinstein. And he made that call 11.30 at night. And Reb Maisha was sleeping. The Rebbetzin told that to the boy and she said, should I wake up the Rosh Hashiva? And the boy said yes. Reb Moshe comes to the phone, he hears it's a halachic question, he washes his hands first, and then he listens to the question and he realizes it's a fake question, it's a phone scam. He says to the boy, the bocher, where do you learn? The bocher didn't want to answer because he didn't want to get in trouble. Reb Moshe said, don't worry. I'm not going to get you in trouble. He told him where he learned, and then he asked him, what Gemara are you learning? The boy answered what Gemara he was learning. He asked Reb Moshe, Reb Moshe asked him, what daf? He told him, he said, let me ask you a kash on Taisus. He asked the boy, "Nu, no? do you understand that kasha? And Reb Moshe said, and the boy said, I don't understand that kasha. It was a miracle he knew which Gemara he was learning. He should know the kasha on Taisus? No one had the patience of Reb Maisha. It was about midnight. Reb Maisha didn't have a Gemara with him. And he started to teach the boy, word by word, line by line, the entire Amr. And he said, do you understand? And the boy said, no. Rav Maisha, like Rav prayed in his generation, taught him the Gemara again and again and again. And after teaching the boy for almost an hour, the Gemara, he said, now do you understand? And the boy said, that's a Moira de Kakasha. And Ramesha said, tomorrow, when you go to Yeshiva and you're learning the Taisvis, ask it to your Rebbe. The next day, they're in the middle of Taisvis, the boy raises his hand, the Rebbe's wondering, this boy has no shy, whoa, 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 what's he going to ask? And he asks that Kasha. And the Rebbe is Arois from Kalim. He says, where'd you get that Kasha from? He says, Reb Moshe Feinstein. The Rebbe says, let me work on the kasha. The Rebbe worked on the kasha the entire week. At the end of the week, he came back and he said, I much it and much it for this and I have an answer. And he gave the answer to the shear and to the boy. The boy comes home at the end of the week after getting the answer. He runs to his bedroom and he starts to cry. His parents ask to be allowed in. They come in and they ask him why he's crying. And through the tears, all he was able to say was, Reb Moshe, Reb Moshe believed in me. Reb Moshe gave me a kasha that kept my Rebbe thinking for a week. Oimein es hadasa, Reb Moshe believed in me. And if Reb Moshe believes in me, then I believe in myself.
and I want to go back to yeshiva and start to learn regular. And that's what he did the next morning. And today this young man is already an adult who is a very, very prominent Magid Shir in the Yeshiva Gedayla in the tri-state area. And if you were to ask him why, and you were to know that he was that boy, he would tell you, Reb Maisha believed in me. Do you know what it's like for our children to hear, I believe in you, and I believe in you, and I believe in you. I maintain that Pesiyata Deshmaya, so much, uh, so many of the issues with self-esteem and not feeling accomplished and always blaming others can mamish be turned around if things are done mit the gishmak Mordechai told it to Esther and she changed the world Reb Maisha believed in that teenager and today he's a Talmud Chacham Muflig why? because Reb Maisha believed in me And if there's anything taken out of tonight's talk, it should be that we really, really, and I mean really, believe in ourselves and believe in our families. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.